everyone, my name is Natasha Ashgar. Now I know a lot of you probably know me from Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. I've been working as a TV presenter for many years and today I'm going to pretty much be bare in front of all of you. The reason why is because I feel like weight loss is something that so many people talk about. We see so many people in the press and magazines and in films looking fabulous and wonderful and glamorous. There are so many different bloggers out there, so many influencers out there who talk about their weight loss journey via fitness and different ways. Well, let me tell you something. From a very young age, I have suffered from PCOS, also known as polycystic ovary syndrome. Yes, my mother's probably gonna kill me for confessing that out loud, but it's a condition that I've had. I've lived with it, I've dealt with it, and I've moved on from it. However, one thing that you have with polycystic ovary syndrome is unfortunately, you're more prone to lose, I should say gaining weight than anybody else perhaps maybe. It's very, very hard to lose that weight, particularly when you do all the workouts and the diet and everything. And I'm sure a lot of people who are trollers out there will hate me for saying so, but I have tried every diet under the sun. I've tried Atkins, I've tried the Dukan diet, I've tried the cabbage soup diet, you name it, I've tried it all. What I wanna to do today is for those of you who like me are perhaps struggling with weight loss, probably don't have time for the gym. I know many of you will probably roll your eyes and say, everybody's got time to go to the gym. Well, unfortunately, not all of us do. I don't have a routine. I work freelance, which means that I'm jetting back and forth between London and Wales probably every week, if not twice a week. And it can be exhausting. I can't commit to a gym membership because I'm not in one place long enough to be able to commit to that gym membership. A lot of people have told me I've made a lot of excuses. So what I try to do is look at different ways as to how I can lose weight. So what I've done is after a lot of research, this video is going to be focusing on a new form of diet, I should say, that one particular celebrity has embarked upon. Now, if you love your tower, you're probably knowing who, which direction I'm going in, but Gemma Collins, who I know is a love for her role in Towie. She's given a fantastic new podcast. I know she's very successful and very popular amongst you. Now she started something, well, a particular regime, called the Skinny Jab. Yes, it's basically an opportunity whereby you pay X amount of money to the company. They'll do a full medical background check on you, ask you any issues that you've got, any problems that you've got. Now, because I've got polycystic ovary syndrome, and I take medication for it. It's something that they were very much reluctant to give me, but after providing with medical reports and doing the whole shebang, they finally sent me my pack. So what I'm gonna do with you all now is share my journey of weight loss whilst doing the skinny jab. So my pack came through the post, and so with my pack, obviously you get an injection, which is kind of like a diabetic pen, which I'll talk about later, but you get a skinny jab report. Now inside this report, it's gonna show you exactly where you stand with regards to your date, your height, your weight, your BMI, your blood pressure, your glucose, your cholesterol, and your iron levels as well. So that's fun filled stuff to look forward to. You also get a very glossy magazine with a very stunning, slim looking lady on the front of it. I'm hoping and aspiring to have this kind of figure by the time we're done with it. If not, you certainly know where uh, it went wrong. But inside the magazine, you've got loads of different things. You've got smooth operators, you've got your measurements and you can basically write down as you go along where you are on the weight scale week by week. You also have a few little recipes in there as to how you can lose that weight as well, what can help you speed it up. And also at the end of it, just to make you feel even more special, you have three different options as to what you can do if the skinny jab was successful, unsuccessful, and how you can do a couple of options along the way if for example you feel you need to have a little bit more of a dose once you're done. It also comes with an indication of the detox box, so different recipes for you as to how you can do it. It comes with hot tips for success, and it also says to you, diets don't work, but skinny jab does. Well, by the end of this video, you and I will both see together whether it works or not. Also gives you some vegan soup recipes and some useful information. Uh, inject immediately after food at around about the same time each day, ideally between 10, 30, and 1 a.m. So the deal with skinny jab is, you pay money, you get the jab. You get all these little bits and pieces with it as well. But the whole point is, is that you eat your entire, or pretty much your daily intake between 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. That's how it works. After that, you pretty much, you don't go into starvation mode, but you eat very few calories, very few and far in between. And aside from that, just to give you a heads up, you have their phone number and a few little detox week tips as well for you. Anyway, my aim is to basically lose weight. A few weeks ago, I actually got called flubber by somebody, which didn't really make me feel great. In the past, I've, as you know, I worked in TV and I have been told by previous bosses that I need to lose weight in order to get work and be successful at my job. 
Personally, there are a lot of people out there who will hate upon you when you gain weight. But one thing's for sure is that when you do lose weight, yes, it will make you feel better. It may help you feel a bit more, you know, motivated to get on with your day. But above all else, I think it will help you with your self-confidence. One thing I have is self-confidence as it is. And I don't really think that diets and all that kind of stuff makes me feel any better than I already feel about myself. However, I do know that society is pretty fickle and one does need to lose weight, if not for anything, more than for one's health. And if you've got polycystic ovary syndrome or any other condition whereby weight gain can have an effect on your health and on your condition, then believe me, it's worth a try. And I'm one of those people who will try anything in order to see if we get any results. So make sure you stay with me and follow me on my journey with the skinny jab. I'm kind of dreading injecting myself, I'm honest, because I have a bit of a phobia about injections. But like I said, I'm laying myself bare for you. You're gonna follow me with all my recipes, my entire journey. If I have any mood swings, you're gonna know about it. So stick with me now the hardest bit for me. I have suffered from polycystic ovaries for many, many years and many websites will tell you that one in five women or even one in 10 women will suffer from polycystic ovaries. It's something that none of us can control, none of a doctor can predict and unfortunately I have yet to find a cure of it. The only thing you can do is take the best care you can of it. Now whilst I'm embarking upon the skinny jab diet, I have my beautiful assistant, the wonderful Gemma, who is going to legitimately weigh me up. Now with my actual uh, skinny jab pack, I got a skinny jab progress report card which allows me to fill in week by week my measurements for my chest left arm right arm waist hips left thigh right thigh and my weight as well i don't have weighing scales but i will weigh myself and show you guys later but for now Gemma is going to help me weigh myself well weigh myself measure myself up i should say yes. for the purpose of exercise so Gemma, let's kick off with the chest please yes. Forty-two. okay fabulous Perfect. Left arm is that one. Okay. Now I've gained weight and lost weight loads over the years. And if there's one thing I cannot get over, it's the fact that even though I may have lost weight, I still have the mentality as though I'm bigger than I actually am. So what's next, Gemma? The right arm. Yep. Okay. And I know a lot of women have this issue, but hopefully with my journey, you might be inspired to try it. You might not. You might think to yourself, you know what, this is not for me. I'd rather just go to the gym and do it, which is absolutely fine. But due to my life and my time restrictions, this is my option. What's next, Gemma? Waist. Let's do it. Ooh, I'm trying not, I'm not even gonna try and breathe in, to be <laughs> honest with this one. Okay. 36. 36. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And the hips, hips as well. This is my problematic area, everybody. And as Shakira says, the hips don't lie. Mine aren't going to either, I'm sure. 45. Okay, perfect. Right, and then we have a left thigh. I don't know why on earth I'm measuring my thigh, but okay, here's a left thigh for you. Okay. That's fine? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to call it 22 for the left thigh. And for the right thigh, we're going quite high up actually. Okay. 22. Perfect. Very okay. Even. Well, good to know my thighs are even. So there you go, guys and girls. Those are my measurements. And thank you very much, Gemma, for that. Okay. Week by week, you're going to be uh, measuring up with me and hopefully be able to see whether the skinny jab diet works or doesn't. So it's the first day of my uh, skinny jab diet, and I'm going to tell you what I'm having for breakfast. So some onions, two eggs, a bit of cheese, salt, pepper, and I'm going to put a bit of milk into it as well, add a bit of flavour, and a bit of uh, oil as well. Tiny, tiny little bit of olive oil. That's breakfast, and I'll keep you posted as to lunch and dinner. Hi everyone, it's Natasha again. Now, as you know, today is day one of my skinny jab journey with you all at home, but one thing I want to make very clear from the outset, that is, is that I'm not a qualified medical practitioner. Yes, I'm embarking on the skinny jab journey with you all at home, just to give you an indication as to how it works, how I feel, potentially what you could do, and how you'd feel if you're going to be doing this yourself. But if you're thinking about doing it, I have to tell you right now, make sure you speak to your doctor, speak to your specialist, and make sure you don't withhold any information when you speak to the skinny jab team. Okay everyone, so as you know, I'm doing the skinny jab diet and I figured I'll show you piece by piece what actually comes in the pack. So you get a very sexy looking uh, silver envelope. Inside that you get the box, which is the main jab. Now I'm gonna open it inside with you so you actually see what it comes with and you know what I, uh, obviously we've gone through the books together. 
This is not a knife before you start wondering it's a sharp object. It's actually an envelope opener. Okay, so you have these, which are the needles, which you're gonna be injecting for 30 days. And you have this, which is like a diabetic pen. So to get a bit of a gauge as to how it works, it's filled up, it's fully loaded with what needs to go inside. So from my understanding, I'm not gonna show you the gross part because injections freak me out. You take that part off the needle. You, I believe, screw it on like this. Okay. You take it up to 0 0.6, which is, when, what to, is meant to be my uh, actual uh, allocation of medication every day. And you unscrew the top, unscrew the bottom. So it literally, it looks like a diabetic pen. And I'm not going to show you this bit. So Stephen, darling, you can turn the camera off because I'm not going to show how it works, but literally you jab it in, tick, 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 tick on the top till this goes into zero and that's it. And here we have the final results. A lovely little omelette, which I'm going to be eating as my breakfast. And I'll be following up with a few little snacks before 1 p.m. Okay, so my eggs were looking a little bit lonely. So what I did was I actually boiled two hot dogs with it. Put a little dash of tomato ketchup, which looks like I've practically used an entire reservoir of the stuff. But that is going to be breakfast, alongside a glass of water. And I think I'm so. It's the first day on Skinny Diet. It's my lunch hour, and you might want to know what I'm eating today. So I have a trusted bottle of water, watermelon and mango slice. I can't believe I'm actually saying this is my lunch, but it is. And because I really like them, British piccolo tomatoes. This is what I'm gonna be eating. It's gonna be my last main meal of the day. You saw my breakfast earlier. Dinner's probably gonna be something lame like a soup. So far, energy's okay, but I am uh, kind of feeling it now, as in I've, what on earth have I signed up to? But fingers crossed, another 29 days to go, so. So it's lunchtime and I've decided to spoil myself today. I'm actually having a jacket potato with butter, which I'm allowed to have. And I figured I'll have it with something like that kind of like not make me feel like I'm on a diet completely. So I've teamed up with some cheese and beans. It is literally swimming in the stuff, but this is my last meal or my main meal, I should say for the day. So here, this is what I'm having today. Ta-da! and I'll fill you in on any other snacks that I have throughout. So it's been exactly one week since I've been doing my skinny jabs and I have to be honest with you, I am feeling a lot different. The nausea is a little bit irritating considering I'm phobic of being pu of puking and stuff. However, the good thing is, is that I'm feeling a lot lighter, feeling a little bit more energetic, but there are days where I do feel a little bit fluey. It has been difficult, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm gonna put my hands up and say, I did sin for one day because I did surrender my soul for a KFC. However, I haven't had anything sweet. I've been drinking complete and utter water, juices, all the healthy stuff under the sun, and it's now time for the second week of the uh, measurement weigh-in. So Gemma, if I can call upon you to give me a hand, please, considering you did these last time. Yes. The same good old trustworthy uh, measuring tape that we had last time. Okay. So start with the chest again. Okay, there you go. Okay. Thirty-nine point five. And that was initially the first week it was forty-two. Okay. Okay, my left arm. Please. Okay, I'll tool that down just to make sure you get it then. There you go. Mm-hmm. That stayed the same. Okay. So I'm still 12 on my arms. On my left arm, my right arm. Yeah. Yeah, 12 again. as well on the arm. Perfect. Okay. Wait. Now the waist. All right. This is the bit that I really don't like, but okay. Yeah, that's down as well. We've gone down from 36 to 35. 34. Oh, 34. Oh, 34.5. Okay, now the hips, and Shakira likes to say the hips don't lie, so this is the bit that I dread. Okay. 43 and a half. And that was originally 45 and a half. Okay, fantastic. Uh, and then we've got thighs to go. So left thigh. This is going to be a barrel of laughs, isn't it? Okay. Okay. 20. All right, so left thigh is 20. Okay. And the right thigh is? Okay, let me twist around. 
1.5. Fantastic. Oh wow, okay, so I've lost two and a half inches on my thigh, which is amazing. So as you can see, the skinny jab diet is going pretty well. I'm doing everything the best I can in order to make sure that I have the optimum weight loss, but I'm not gonna lie to you, it is tiring. I probably haven't picked the best month of the year, which is my birthday month, where I'm probably going out more, partying more, and doing all the things one shouldn't be doing whilst doing this, but I am genuinely doing my best. But I will be doing another measurement and weigh-in or whatever you wanna call it next week with you, so make sure you don't go away. So today I didn't really fancy breakfast for this skinny jab diet thing in me, Jake. I'm feeling okay, a bit tired, a bit knackered, a bit whatever. But today, breakfast consists of some piccolo tomatoes. And I will be having lunch shortly, but I'm teaming it up with loads of water. I've completely cut out carbonated drinks, which I'm finding really difficult. I can drink water in carbonated water, but it doesn't really taste of much. So I'm sticking to the healthier options, but I'll keep you updated. <laughs> So it's me, Natasha, and I have a confession to make. So you probably all know that I've been doing the skinny jab for the past few weeks, and I've been really regimented, following it to the T. However, my birthday came along. Yes, I'm not even joking. My birthday came along. I went away to Abu Dhabi, and I'm not gonna lie, I totally ditched the skinny jab for seven whole days. I ate what I liked. I didn't drink anything, but I generally just did what I want, however I want. I tried to be as healthy as I could, not to kill all the effort that I've put in for the skinny jab. But just to let you know that I may not have the best, best, best results known to mankind purely because I did fail for one week, but don't worry, I'm back on the bandwagon now. And I'll keep you updated as to the results and what's happening with me on the skinny jab diet. So this is lunch for today. It's an aqua salad. It's uh, got some spinach in there, olives, uh, eggs, tomatoes, a little bit of dressing, some onions in there as well. And uh, you can see a tiny hint of a potato. This is lunch. I'm having this with the soup as well. So it seems like the diet's going okay, feeling a little bit lighter, feeling a little bit uh, better and a bit more uh, active, I should say. So all in all, it's going quite well. Hi everyone, it's only me. So today's my last day on the skinny jab and I'm truly, truly, truly suffering. I'm really wishing that I could eat carbs. I feel genuinely lighter. However, it's been a struggle, but I'm gonna do my final weigh-in later. So hopefully we'll be able to see the results as to whether it's been a success or not. Hi guys, it's me again. Now it's come to the end of my four weeks here on the skinny jab. It's been one heck of a journey. I've certainly learned a lot. I, uh, I know I had a blip week in between, but nonetheless, I came back and powered through as one does. Now, as it's my last ever video, particularly for the skinny jab, I just want to reiterate a couple of things. Number one, it's not as easy as it looks. Number two, being a little princess who wakes up at 10 o'clock or normally nine-ish in the morning, having to wake up and eat between the hours of seven and one has been especially difficult. Number three, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't noticed much of a difference. However, people around me have said that I look a little bit thinner. I don't know if it's just psychological on my part, but I do feel a little bit lighter. But as my final gift to you, I'm gonna do some final measurements. Because as you know, every week I've been doing my measurements. I've been pretty regimented. I've normally had my beautiful assistant Gemma helping me out. But today I'm going to do them by myself for you at home. So without further ado, let's do some final measurements for me being on the skinny jab. So as we've done them before, here is my left arm. So hold on, like if I get the rope right, hang on one second. Here we go, this is the way. Clearly you can tell I don't do this by myself <laughs> without Gemma in tow. All right, here we go, we're gonna get this. Okay, so let's do this. So it is now, left arm is 11. Yep, there you go, you can see it's 11. Right arm, right, here we go. Uh, right. So now we have right arm is, oh, right arm is 13. I don't know if that's good or bad, but okay. Then we're gonna do bust. Bust comes up to 
38, so that's been a change. Waist comes up to, I can't even see my waist because that's how uh, difficult this is, but hey-ho, we will get there. Waist is 36, I don't know if you can see that, there you go. Uh, <laughs> all right, now, right leg is 19 and a half, I'd say. Yeah, I think you can see that. 19 and a half is where the right leg goes. Left leg is 19, okay? And the bit which I absolutely despise the most, which is the hips, which I'm gonna do for you right now. Yeah, let's just not even bother. That's 42. <laughs> for those of you who are wondering, so it's fair to say that the skinny jab has actually helped me out in more ways than one. I was really dubious at the beginning. However, having gone through enough hoops of fire when it came to going through the medical process, I have to say it's something that I would potentially consider doing again. I am going to say to you that if you want to give it a try, do, but just make sure that you seek proper medical attention. It's certainly been a journey. I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed my journey as well. But that indeed is me signing out for having done